This morning, fires are still burning out of control in and around Los Angeles. And when you mix wind and hot air, you may get a fire NATO. We're back with our science guy, Steve Spangler. Steve, tell us more about these fire NATOs. I'm usually here and we're doing something fun and making you laugh or whatever, but this is kind of serious. And so a good demonstration or a way to illustrate this, we use this in museums all over the country um, to be able to show kind of what that looks like. So here's what I have in front of you. Get your safety glasses that are here. I have a Lazy Susan, so just this little uh, spinner right here. And, uh, and so what I'm going to do is this with a little lighter fluid inside as you light it up like this. So now hot air rises. And so as that hot air rises, a lot of people will think that if you spin this, you get one of these fire nados, and you can see that you don't, right? It really is the winds that kind of whip through from the side and start to spin that whole thing around. So if you change that, instead of just spinning it this way, we have to simulate the air coming in. You know, we're talking about at the 4 o'clock, we're going to talk about that Venturi effect that's coming through those canyons uh, right. and making it so difficult. But here is how we represent it this way. So watch, same kind of setup that you see here, but this time I just have a trash can. So a trash can like you would normally have, you know, at home. But you can see the little screen that's here. As we spin it this way, the air that comes through will start to whip it around, and I want you to see what this looks like. And so it's a matter of me just kind of putting it in here and making sure that in the center, yeah, I think that'll look good. So now watch what happens as we have this on here like this. Watch what happens when you spin. As you spin, you get start to, oh, oh there it is. Yeah. So you see how that tornado starts to whip up like this. There you go. It's that combination of the, of the heated air uh, upward, and then it hits from the side and starts to whip. Look at how high the fire gets. So firefighters are having to deal with this as it's jumping from treetop to treetop. Mm -hmm. And so those drops and everything that they're doing now is so important. So you think that you'd fight the fire from the bottom and you don't necessarily fight it from the bottom. Many times when they're seeing these tornadoes, right. fire nados, whatever they're calling them, jumping from treetop to treetop. And as I ask friends who are in South Metro, so how do you go about fighting this? They look at me like, uh, how would you go about fighting Well, I this? wanted to ask you, because on top of the winds, what is the terrain like there in California? How is that really aiding these? Outrageous. Right. Outrageous. And you start to see uh, the particles that are in the air as well. So I just move this over towards you. You start to see these particles, these embers that are in the air, showing the size of almost a golf ball. Mm -hmm. and, and once you surround that, that wouldn't normally catch on fire or something that's a little bit larger you say how does that catch on fire as soon as you surround it with oxygen watch what happens so I have a, an example this is a, a material called lycopodium and lycopodium is this spore notice it doesn't catch on fire this way right but if you take this now and you disperse it in the air and you surround those individual particles so you see the individual particles that are there once you surround those individual particles with oxygen watch what happens here oh see? my goodness once you now get that that uh, oxygen around it they take off so extremely dangerous so you see these embers flying around going into the eaves of the roof and uh, how do you fight that uh, along the way so a part of this is just understanding it uh, and really cognizant of the fact that these firefighters are great scientists at the same trying to just think this process through trying to stay one step ahead of it the entire time and, and Steve so fascinating what a great example to demonstrate this but also uh, wildfires create their own weather in a sense as well right, right? A regular tornado, we can usually get at least some lead time, but with these, there's no lead time, right? Not, not at all. And, uh, it, uh, and it changes as that wind starts to blow. You certain things you you don't think about it, it pulling air from the side and pulling uh, fuel from the side. And so this afternoon, we'll kind of show what that looks like. Mm -hmm. Either the Venturi effect or Bernoulli's principle. That fast moving air now pulls things from the side and just fuels it as it as it takes off this way. So I wish there was uh, some sort of solution there's not I'm just making you aware and, and trying to use it as a teaching example for kids to be able to see as well but a tremendous amount of STEM education sitting in uh, a firefighting and just sure. how dangerous these can yep. be yeah, yeah, firefighters sure have their work cut out for yep. them right now yeah. hopefully the next time I see I'll have something a little bit more fun by one to at least illustrate what these fire tornadoes look like thank you sure yeah, we appreciate that sure.